What up, fake gang? Back at it again with another review. And today I have a new piece of equipment that I just love. Lately, I haven't been able to get to my therapist. So, of course, you have to have backup because self care is important. So, now I have my Every Fun M3 Pro massaging gun. This is a professional grade deep tissue treatment handheld percussion massager gun that helps to reduce muscle soreness, improve mobility, and increase relaxation. Every Fun M3 Pro Massage Gun is an advanced professional grade recovery tool designed by a physical therapist for pro athletes and everyday people around the world. This powerful deep tissue treatment tool will help you recover quickly and better enjoy all your workouts, your sports, and just relaxing on a day-to-day -day basis. Depth, speed, and force are key to any deep muscle treatment. And boy, is this thing powerful. The EveryFun M3 Pro built-in pro-grade motor reaches up to 50 pounds of stall force, has 3,200 percussions per minute, and stroke length penetrates tight muscles, breaks down lactic acid, and relieves muscle pain. I mean, that's everything I need all in one piece of equipment. Thank God. And as a consumer, what I do love about it is that it has up to 10 hours of battery power, so I don't have to worry about recharging it all the time. Plus, it has five customizable speed settings. And for me, I like setting number one because it really gets intense after that. <laughs> awesome thing is EveryFun has provided me a coupon code, so you do get 5% off if you use code IMNAFIT. Now, this is limited time, so make sure you get your stuff, get your tools, and get it while it lasts. I will leave the link below because it is available on Amazon, which means that you will get your tools ASAP and you'll be able to track your shipping easy as pie. If you have any questions about my experience, please drop them below. I'll be sure to answer your questions and let you know anything you need to know about the Every Fun M3 Pro gun. Here we go again with another leg day. And yes, I did use my massage gun prior to my workout. I wanted to loosen up my muscles and get ready for my workout. I wanted to see how that worked this time because I usually do get my physical therapy, but lately my therapist has been busy. I've been busy and our schedules haven't been matching up. So now I have another option. Today we did five sets of the hack squat. I think the first three sets were um, with two plates on each side. And then the last two sets, I had three plates on each side. Wait, I may have done six sets because I remember doing three plates on each side three times. So yeah, I think I did six sets. And each one of my sets, I of course superset as usual. So this one, I superset it with a, an elevated squat. I have one leg elevated. I like this because I get some more depth and I get some more emphasis on my glute on the elevated leg side. Of course, do both legs. And here I am using my, my long bands from my website. I leave the link below and these bands um, I did, you can't attach them to the machine, but instead I put it behind my neck and under my feet right here. I didn't want to run the risk of it popping or anything like that, which it's never done, but I just attach it to myself because it gave me a really good amount of resistance anyways. And here I am supersetting it with a split lunge. As you can tell, I am wearing my blood flow restriction bands from the X bands. I also have a code with the X bands, which is NAFIT10. So you can get 10% off of those as well. For each one of those, I did 10 to 12 reps on each leg. And then of course, returned back to the hack squat machine so that I can complete my next set. Now, People were asking before, what do you do with the blood flow restriction bands? Do I keep them on the whole workout? What happens? Again, loosen them between your sets, and which is what I was doing. I was retightening them back down before I got back on the hack squat machine. This is important because you don't want to feel any numbness or tingling or anything, especially if you put the bands on too tight. You don't want to do that. You want to put them on, do your set. I like to do my super set, so I'll do one exercise and then the next one, and then loosen my bands instead of each time between each exercise, you know? The next superset was a front squat. And then I believe I also threw in some deadlifts and some other things, but I'm not sure if I put everything in the video. But yeah, here we go. I have three plates on each side this time. For anybody who does not know, the hack squat machine weighs 65 pounds on its own. So remember that when you're one, 
counting your weight, and two, when you're exercising, because don't get on there thinking that you're not doing anything just because you don't have any weight or anything like that on there, because you can do the ex- um, the exercise without any weight on there. It's not a problem because the machine on its own does weigh 65 pounds, just as well as the leg press on its own weighs 65 pounds. And for those who don't also know, the Smith machine bar on its own is not 45 pounds like the Olympic bar. A lot of people count their weight wrong when they're, you know, um, listing things in their captions. So they'll have one plate on each side and say they're doing 135. But the Smith machine bar only weighs 15 to 20 pounds max. It depends on the company, but it doesn't weigh more than 20 pounds. Now here I'm doing a single leg deadlift and... For me, since I ruptured my Achilles tendon, this is something I do this in the single leg um, seated squat that I just did prior to that. It's something that I'm doing just to see how my um, flexibility and my balance is recovering since my injury. It's just something I like to try sometimes. And here I go. It's portable. You can take it with you to the gym. I use it there. I use it at home too. So if you have any questions, leave them below and I got you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Love you guys.